Tommaso Ciampa. So you go around wanting the world to think you're crazy. You tell them you're a psychopath, but yet you still want to act like you're cute on social media just to get a little bit of attention. Just to get people talking about you. See, my situation that I had to explain was because Ring of Honor allowed some nitwit to go and spread false rumors about me and damage my name. See, it's pretty simple. My name, my name was built on performances. But yet, people decide that they don't even care about those performances. All they care about is the Ring of Honor and the certain fans that have decided to call Michael Elgin the villain. Well, see, that's a name, that's a hat I'm willing to wear with pride. And a villain, Tommaso, a villain can find justification in anything and everything he says and does. Can you? See, you went and called me delusional. Why? Because I decided to show Ring of Honor just how they treat people. I decided to treat them how they treated me, and they didn't like it so much, did they? But in that process, I realized by doing that, people weren't getting to see Michael Elgin do what he does best. And you can try and deny it. Everybody can try and deny it. But every time I step in that ring, I give people a match that they need to see. And Tommaso, you say you're sorry to the fans that you're wrestling me at Final Battle, that you deserve a better match. That's funny, because I remember feeling that way. I remember you coming back from a knee injury, and I had to wrestle you at Best in the World 2013. And guess what? After that match, people were talking about Tommaso Ciampa. But I had to sit back and watch two brothers fight for a belt that I deserved. So you want to talk about sorry about being in a match? The only way that people are going to talk about you after final battle is because you wrestle me. And you want to call me a cancer? Well, Tommaso, I'm willing to be a cancer. And at final battle, you realize that for you, I'm terminal.